Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about a forgotten gifted midfielders of Indian football team and a former captain of the Indian football team. The name of the footballer is Lukram Gunabir Singh. Mary Lowe Rayton, an American gymnast got it. A trophy carries thus, memories last forever. The saying is really a reflection of a sport person life. He or she will fully remember his days of glory. So let us remember the glories and the deeds of our forgotten midfielders of the Indian football team. So hang around and enjoy the video. Please click the like button, share the video and the comment on the video. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please click the subscribe button. Gunabir Singh was the captain of the Indian national football team. He was known for accurate and well-timed passing, which led to numerous goals in his career. Sports star, sport magazine of the late 1990, Tom Gunabir as a mini terror to any opposition. It was for his brilliant performance against Finland and the Cameroon in the 1993 Nehru Cup. Not only this, he had played for India and brought laurel many a time for his country. Gunabir was born to let Lukram Mani and the Lukram Mehmet Devi in Haubam Marag, Lauren Bamlekai, Imphal West, Manipur. He was a fifth child of the family. He was born to a football-loving family, just like most of the families in Manipur. His elder brother, El Somarjit Singh, represented Manipur in the Subroto Mukherjee Cup in 1985. His younger sister, El Omita Devi, also played in the Manipur football team, and his younger brother, L. Jam Singh also played for Indian football team. The family of Gunabir is truly a football family. His late father, L. Mani, had played a big role in the life of the children. He was an encouraging father who inspired his children to do whatever they wanted in their life. He used to drop his children to the football field and to pick them up. He helped them in whatever way he came for a person he was. Gunabir started playing football when he was around 9 years old in the ground just in front of his house. He was a natural and a gifted footballer. He was so good that he represented the state of Manipur in the national under-16 football tournament when he was only 12 years old. He was so brilliant as a football player that he was part of the under-16 international football team at the third Asian Junior Championship held at Bangkok, Thailand. After that, he was selected at the Sport Authorities of India Special Area Game. So he had to leave his home when he was 14 years old and learn about the nitty-gritty of football. He trained under Andan Chaudhary. The coach left a lasting impression of the importance of fitness to Gunabir. He was at the facility for about four years. He seldom returned home as the journey took a lot of time. Instead, during this holiday, he practiced more and he practiced harder. During this period, his skill as a footballer improved tremendously due to practice and playing against some of the best Indian team in the tournament like GCM Cup, Stratford Cup, Bandotkar Cup. In fact, he was the captain of the Indian national junior team at the Asian Championship Hala United Arab Emirates and the sub-junior football team. He was the captain of the under-18 football team for the Asian School Championship held at Kuala Lumpur in 1991. In fact, a Malaysian team Perek Malaysi offered him contract to play for them. Such was the skill and the talent of Gunabir. He didn't accept the offer. The year 1993 was a memorable year for him. He played against Finland and the Cameroon in the Nehru Cup. In 1993, the match that defined him as a terror to the opponent was held at Madras. His skill had improved beyond recognition by the person who had known him. After that, he represented India in the World Cup qualifier at Lebanon and the Seoul in 1993. He was also part of the Indian national football team, which won the 1993 Lahore Sakha Cup. He played in the Super Soccer Series against Norway at Jamsepo 1995. 
every footballers of India want to play for the big three club, namely Mohan Bagan, East Bengal, and the Mohammedan Sporting Club. If a player can play for any of these three clubs, then he can be considered to be the best Indian footballer. However, Gunabri played in all these three clubs beginning from 1994 to 2000. He played for Mohan Bagan in 1994 and the 2000, East Bengal in 1995, and the Mohan Mo Mohammedan Sporting for three years, 1996 to 1998. In fact, he was the first person from Manipur to have played for this prestigious club. When he played for this team, the club had won Durand Cup, Federation Cup, and many other trophies. He is still playing in the veteran football tournament. He had coached great team of Manipur like Neroka, Trao, and Nako. His contribution to the development of football in the state of Manipur and India can never be repaid. It is a pity that we had forgotten a hero of football in India. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video.